Hello everyone, welcome back to the episode of Jamie Plays with me, Jamie. Today we are going to start a new playthrough, and that's actually of a new empire in Star Trek New Horizons, called the Confederacy of Earth, which we see from Picard Season 2. So if you haven't watched Picard Season 2, don't worry, I'm not going to uh, give away that many spoilers if you're still interested in seeing it. Um, however, I will read this text right in front of us. So... All of Earth watched and waited for the success of the Titan mission of 2024, but when it failed to deliver, one man stood up and brought humankind out of the mire of the 21st century. That man was Dr. Adam Sung, and his visionary view masterminded a new future, one where the strongest not only survive, but thrive. Earth took to the stars, knowing that the only way to keep Earth safe was to ensure that humanity was leading the way and that all other life understood its place behind their human masters. So a safe galaxy is a human galaxy, Adam Sung. So as we see in Picard, this is kind of um, not necessarily an alternate timeline, but what happens if the Europa mission in 2024 actually changed? Um, and rather than the mission being successful, it was unsuccessful. Um, and so Adam Sung, rather than creating um, Khan and going down that path, um, kind of created the confederacy of earth which is a very militaristic empire that puts all uh yeah all aliens behind humans and we're gonna so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and conquer the galaxy um as the humans so obviously we are not going so we're gonna go for the recommended number of empires um and we're obviously not going to try and form the federation what we're also doing is I'm playing on the lore rich map. So this is also a new map that came out with the Overlord release for Stellaris. Um, so we are going to, yeah, kind of go through and conquer, conquer the galaxy. But also, yeah, it's it's going to be interesting. So let's jump in, shall we? So we need a ruler job and a specialist job. Uh, oh, Cambridge University. Actually, I'm surprised it's not built already. I thought it did that already. Um, so we only have 200 minerals. Um, Imperial Intelligence HQ will want that. Monument of Triumph will definitely want that. Starfleet Headquarters. So there's a lot of things we're currently missing as the Confederacy. I think um, that maybe not... I don't know. I don't know if that's meant to be that way or not, but we're going to go for Cambridge University. That will give us some jobs. And we are going to send our science ships out to explore. Let's go... Oh, automatic surveying. Yeah, let's go like that already. On Earth space dock, let's build a shipyard and let's go for a science ship. Uh, and we'll let that build. So let's go for the oh suppression node. Um, our ships are impervious to the unclean. Let's go for this one for the uh, command station, inertial dampener, all of that. Let's go for the engineering and science stations, and let's go for the operation stations, all of that. So we're really going to kind of focus on building our military ships as much as possible. So incoming, um, tech slowdown, cannon wars. So let's turn the cannon wars on, switch on the cannon wars mode. Um, we're going to have increased minor to major promotions, let's do that. And tech slowdown. You know what? Let's turn that on as well. And we're going to go for the extra challenge. Um, oh, a tribute to Uhura Nichol uh, uh, Nichelle Nichols. But just like us, many of you were inspired and fell in love with the characters that appeared on our screens while watching Star Trek, all of whom were brought to life, uh, all of whom were brought to life brilliantly by their actors. Here at PDG, we're saddened to hear of the passing of Nichelle Nichols, a hero and inspiration to so many and a legend to us all. She joins the cast of other legends who have sadly left us. Gone, but never forgotten. Rest in peace, Lieutenant O'Hara. Panel's closed. So, we're going to start the game. Allow me to introduce myself. So, thank you, but go away, Q. We really have to start off like that? Yeah, we don't want your minerals. We don't want anything to do with you. We are supreme. So, speaking of being supreme, oh, was that a... Oh, yes, I there's a, a Class D planet um, here in the solar system. And that is the moon. We can go ahead and colonize the moon. Um, yeah, it will take us a bit of time to, de to get there because we need to get a, build a colony ship to do that, but that's okay. So, 
um, we are going to let's zoom out a little bit and have a look. So this is a huge map, absolutely brand, brand new, shiny. Um, it's supposed to be more friendly to, for example, where place where things are placed, uh, things being empires. Um, so um, you are here. Let's assign you a new leader. Let's go for Cassandra Sutter, and we're going to automatically survey. Now, something else that I want to do um, before um, we go too much further is that for this playthrough, I'm also going to be renaming people. Um, so this, these are based on um, feedback that I've had from my Discord. So if you would like to join the Discord um, to have your name added to the game, please definitely do that. The link is in the description below and you can join me, for example, um, and many other uh, people, including other YouTubers like Corners Ratbeard. Um, and Toxic T15, who have also been helping with this channel. Um, you can join us and really just have a lot of fun. We all enjoy it. So I'm going to rename our first um, scientist as uh, Toxic T15, who wanted to be a scientist. Um, the next one, Ricardo. Yeah, we don't need you. Um, let's go for um, Zalaria, our next scientist. And our next scientists go for it to Chris. Oh, if I spell it correctly, T Chris. Like that. Yeah, perfect. So yeah, that's the beginning. Um, let's unpause and continue going. So you are um, going off to explore. That would be good. So shipyard can't do anything. Oh, you notice how slowly it's running. So this is the very beginning of the of the game and already at 21.50 uh, we can see individual days pass. So yeah, I think this is going to be a somewhat slower playthrough. Um, so let's also build... So we have an Intelligence HQ, I think Starfleet HQ. This is what I'm going to go for next. Um, we're going to need two more, three more months actually before we can get that, which is okay because we have a thing. Oh, actually we need to build something here. So Starbase, so we now have our second um, shipyard at the Seoul Starbase, which is good. Um, we need, yeah, we need something here. Unterraformed Mars, and we cannot terraform that yet. So um, let's go and build. Hmm. We're good for mining at the moment, although this will be terraformed. Hmm. Population. Uh, we still have two years before we need to worry about that, so that's fine. This is 33 months, so that's just under three years. But let's go ahead and go for um, Starfleet Headquarters. I think the Admiral job is a ruler job as well. I think. Yeah. So construction ship. Um, let's build that research station as well. Um, here, you know what, we could... Complete. Hmm. Uh, new research. Let's go for the Starfleet Intelligence HQ. Oh, although, actually, do we need that if we have the Imperial Intelligence HQ? Or maybe we can get both. That would be nice. Um, so we will need something here on Mars. So these ones are... There's nothing specifically unique to Mars. Um, pop upkeep reduced, growth speed reduced, happiness reduced, growth speed reduced again, amenities increased. Um, Earth is good for food, that's always nice. Construction complete. Okay, so you've finished your construction, so let's move back. I think what we should definitely do, so we can convert into a mercenary enclave. Um, so serve the Empire for a Empires for a limited time. Um, mercenary capacity can be increased through civics, ascensions, and galactic resolutions. We're not going to do that yet, but I'm sure we will do that later on. So let's open the fleet manager and just add as many ships as possible. Like that. And then, you know what, let's build one. Because the more the better. So, second fleet. Let's recruit an admiral as well. Um, is there anyone specific here? Um, uh, game saving, the trickster, logistician, aggressive. 
Uh, let's go for the Trickster. And actually, I'm going to name rename you. And the next one, we're going... So... Ooh, come on. Click to rename. So, you are going to be Philip. So, again, all of these names are coming from the from my Discord. Oh, and we need an increase in the number of um, trained officer jobs. Um, you would give us some trained, off trained officer jobs as well. I think Starfleet HQ does the same thing, but I'm going to do that as well. Um, and then let's go for... You know what, let's go for a mining network. Minerals for miners, 10%. Minor jobs plus 3. Yeah, let's do that. Construction ship. So, there is a lot in Alpha Centauri. So, why don't I actually send my construction ship down here to Sirius first? Because that's where you will be most useful the soonest. Okay. So, Earth... Starfleet Headquarters is almost finished, then we'll get the Imperial Intelligence HQ. And I think we should get it in time to not have to worry about the lack of trained officers. I think. Fingers crossed, anyway. Shoot one. Boom. Uh, yeah, it produces 12. So yeah, plus 10 per month. That's good. So now we're going for the Imperial Intelligence HQ. Ooh, whoa, I didn't click that. A little bit of a glitch. Okay, uh, you're building the mining network. That will be for that population, so that will be fine. You're moving there. You should be done here soon. Yeah. Oh, and... Uh, oh, sorry, those are minerals. I to say, I thought we were going to get something special already. Not quite. So... Imperial Intelligence HQ, you're there. Um, oh, and we yeah, we do have the one job available, but that should be taken care of by the Imperial HQ. And as I suspected, admirals are ruler positions anyway, so that's good. Seven days. Yeah, I think this is going to be a very slow playthrough in terms of how quickly time goes on. So you are saying that there is a... yeah, building slots available. We knew that already. Mars, you need more population, but then we can upgrade you. But new research... oh, let's go for the Verteron Array and all of the Martian stuff. Oh, AJ Robinson. Great. So our first kind of special candidate. Though I won't change any of the names of the special candidates. So for example, if we get I don't know, Archer, we have Archer. If we have anyone else, we, we have them. Um, anomaly, nope, detected. anomaly detected. Let's research that, because why not? So we can build some more ships, so let's do that. Um, we can also now upgrade you, so let's do that. Um, and Starfleet Intelligence HQ. So we can have both. We can have the Imperial Intelligence and Starfleet Intelligence, which is perfect. So yeah, I'm going to do that now. Um, we have more than enough energy to support it, even though like the jobs aren't... So nobody's working those jobs at the moment. That's absolutely fine. We shall be okay. Yeah, four more jobs. Yeah, that should be fine. Construction ship. Yeah, you're doing that one. That's fine. So, fully surveyed, so let's build an outpost there. Oh, uh, matter of time, understood. So yeah, not really much happened there. Unidentified Empire. Yeah, anyway, let's get this. This is the important bit at the moment. Let's also reinforce our fleet. Yes, and in fact, I'm going to upgrade this to a star base uh, already, if I can. Um, oh, oh, our, <laughs> our president has developed some new skills. Uh, that's great. Um, maybe we should give our ruler a name. So why don't we go here? Let's rename our ruler. Um, let me just check my list here. 
Um, let's make a vampiri. Um, P H Y R I. Yep, that looks right. Um, president and Empress. No, uh, wait. In Star Trek Picard, uh, the female president was uh, Madam President. So a little bit sexist, I guess, but oh well. Might as well. There we go. Sirius is now mine as well. Um, let's go and say is colonizable. Let's do... Uh, oh, actually, let's do... Oh, no, you are 60. Okay, that's what I thought. Um, what is the lunar colony? Minerals. Um, but we can go from here. Are you literally the same? Hold on. Amenities, social, temperate, torrid. Amenities, social, temperate, torrid, polar, lunar. There's literally the same. I don't know why it's listed twice, but let's just go like that. And, uh, oh, can't do that yet. Cannot reinforce the fleet yet. But we'll then get another colony on Sirius. And then once you've done those, move there. Yes, that should be good. The Earth capital, yeah, you're fine. Administrative complex. Minus uh, 35 pop approval rating. But I think with this upgrade that will help. Uh, scientist has leveled up, that's always good. Colony ship, uh, Earth Empire ship. Uh, what am I saying? Earth uh, capital. Empire capital. Um, you know what, I think we're going to need to go for police soon. You know what, let's go for a policing system then. Intelligence HQs, that's crime and things like that, yeah that should be fine. What else can we build here? Monument of Triumph, which is always nice. Direct Landmark Entertainment Center. Yeah, well, let's leave that for now. So, new research. Let's go for the optical computer. That will give us an upgrade for our ships, uh, which would be nice. How much longer do you have until this is finished? A lot, actually. Yeah, you know what? Let's build another couple of science ships. We need to go and, yeah, figure out who's who and who, where and all of that kind of thing. Because I've never played on this map before. This is my first time. So, um, let's continue on. You're surveying there, which you should be. About to get our science ship. Oh, let's do that. Um, let's give you a scientist. Recruit you. Yeah, um, and let's have you go explore. And I don't actually think I have any more names for scientists. So yeah, no more names for... Oh, I take that back. Hold on. Ah, Ragnar. Uh, oh, so yeah, hold on. Let's do the research first. Diplomacy or slavery. And then I do have another name here. So Ragnar Ragnarsson. Oop, sorry, double R. Yes, just like that. Who also wanted to be a scientist or a governor or an admiral. Oh, sorry, general or an admiral. Yeah, perfect. And actually, I think I do have one more name that I missed. Yes. Marcus Ceridius. There we go. So yeah, we do have we did have another couple of names. Oh, and I do actually have one more name. Um, so I need to change my system a little bit, because I keep skipping some names. So, Rene Spiller, you should be WD Gaming. Okay. So one, two, three... Yeah, that's now everyone. So again, if you want to be added to, um, your name added, then definitely, um, go on to Discord and let me know. So, let's add you as, um, yeah. The, as a sector, so we can have a governor. Yep, just like that. You have eight jobs, which is nice. Um, you have two jobs, so we'll probably need to do more there. Let's go for the torpedoes and the... Oh, the, tor the missile boats. That would be nice. So, and let's also turn off our sector map mode. We don't need to see that. Yep, just like that. So... 
Um, let us um, attempt to follow the ship. Full powered weapons. Oh, and it's a disaster. We lost our one of our science ships, which is what would have happened anyway had that actually happened. Um, so let's go for another science ship. Yeah. So yeah, that's the ship that we have at the moment, the Emmett class vessel. Um, we could, uh, we do have a scout vessel. I don't think it's really worth building that scout vessel though. Um, yep, great. So, let's give you a new scientist. Government Billard, Chen Chang. So, nothing special about any of them. So, let's go for you and go explore. Yes, just like that. Cannot afford to reinforce. How many do, how much do we need? Uh, one 88. Okay. You know what? Why don't we actually go ahead and jump start it a little bit by buying our... by buying alloys. So let's sell some latinum. And then let's use... Actually, let's sell some deuterium as well. Um, and I'm going to keep the duranium plates. Let's sell some food. Go like that. Oh, also, decisions. Um, let's definitely encourage planetary growth. And let's do the same things. Um, oh, can't do that. But we can start our terraforming already. Yeah. Yep, perfect. So, oh, lost colony. One of United Earth's first extra... Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Let's assemble an away team. That would be nice if we can do that. However, um, yeah, the flavor needs to be the flavor text needs to be changed. It still says United Earth. Um, and in this in this galaxy, United Earth has never existed. So Empire Capital. Let's. Uh, sorry, we still have eight jobs there. Oh, who were they? Mars. So for this, um, I'm going to play it. They, in the sense that they are still human, I'm going to, like, they're equal to me. We're going to attempt to negotiate. Um, we want to bring them back into the fold of the Confederacy of Earth. Because they are human, they're not lesser beings. Everyone else, though, is a lesser being. Speaking of species, um... Oh, excellent. Yep, it worked. Research. Um, you're going to come down here, then, and build a mining station there. For our traditions, um, I'm going to go for eugenics. Um, this is what uh, Sung did um, as well. So we are going to say yes. Um, so adopting all of it will grant an ascension perk, as yeah, we knew already. So Terra Nova, let's uh, we need to, let's give you a frontier hospital. Um, and you're part of the Earth sector, as you should be. So you are you're good for engineering and minerals and food. Oh, actually, those are all very good things. That will all be very helpful. On Mars, actually, do we have a hospital? Oh, we do. Yep. Uh, we'll get one on Sirius Prime. So yeah, we actually have. Uh, I wasn't expecting Terra Nova. I assumed that would have been deactivated, but maybe not. So yeah, it's ours. That's very nice. So we've, instead of just having the one colony, we have two. And we can colonize um, the moon, which I think is a good idea. Let's send you... Oh, complete. we're going to institute for slave labor because complete. that is who we are. Oh, new research. Let's now... Oh, auto research technologies. Well, I'm not sure that's really useful. Let's go for the pharmaceutical factory. Member medical outposts, both the local population and overlords of the workforce. Oh yeah, quadrazine production. Perfect. That will be useful. Oh, unfortunate. Scans of the debris were inconclusive. You're going to do that one, then you're going to move there so we can get Alpha Centauri as well. And I think we have our first target, so that looks like a target. This one is probably going to be a target as well. Um, I think, 
Oh, unless that is... Oh, those are pirates. Okay, never mind. They're not something we... Someone we could actually, uh... Yeah. Destroy? Uh, actually, su sorry, subjugate is the word I'm looking for, not destroy. So, let's, um... You have one job. You are good for food. Actually, let's encourage planetary growth. And then we are going to go for the... Uh... Additional farmers. You know what? Might as well go for food. This is a great one for food. We might as well kind of capitalize on that. Let's go like that. Oh. This planet can only support... Oh, can only support five buildings. I thought it meant for a second, um, just out of the corner of my eye, that it could support five of those, which would be amazing. So, Mars. Um, decisions. Let's special fund the next stage of the terraforming as well. I mean, we might as well make Mars um, into the best planet we can as quickly as possible before we then have to worry about um, fighting everyone else. Because that's what we're going to be doing this playthrough. It's all going to be war, conquest. Um, yeah, no, no hold barred. So nearly there. So that would be six more. Um, I think what we need to do is start upgrading star bases. So both of those should definitely be upgraded to protect those. Uh, the one in Alpha Centauri eventually will be as well. Okay, let's go for the warp engine and let's give you an upgrade. Oh, and you can upgrade as well. But we're going to build everything first, as it should Great, so new research. Let's now go for the division headquarters and the military academy. We will need those for our armies and things, both defensive ones and, um, well, it won't really help us building, um, but, you know, it as a militaristic empire, they're very nice to have. Very nice to have a lot of. Um, we could go for the Monument of Triumph, although there's still seven jobs there, so it's still not... Um, we don't have to. Um, plus one from Pops, Atmospheric Shield minus 1%, yeah, but otherwise doing fine. Um, let us encourage planetary growth. We don't have enough food at the moment, but Terra Nova will be giving us tons of food. Shortly. Well, maybe not shortly. Relatively soon. You're doing those mining stations. Actually, you know what? Uh, build that mining station, and then we're going to go and take Wolf 359. Upgrades. Yeah, you're upgrading as well. Oh, sorry, you're building, then you'll be upgrading. That looks good. Looks like a good start to our first fleet. So, um, Admiral... Hmm, change governor. I don't want to change the governor. Um, oh, we'll be doing the special funding again shortly. I don't need to build anything at the moment. We have our Verteron array. Uh, maybe a policing system should be next. Um, especially as trade value minus 7%. Oh, sorry, those are the effects. Uh, minimal Starfleet intelligence funding. From pop jobs minus two. Oh, initiate the project. Oh, sorry, not resettle. Let's go decisions. We're going to do the special funding again, and we're going to encourage planetary growth. And then what I'm going to do is put in a policing system because... Oh, actually, no. Don't need that quite yet. We still have a little bit of time. So you are a terraformer job. Yeah, that's fine. Construction complete. Yep, you've done that. You're now moving up here. Oh, what's that? Oh, chemosite. That would be good. Uh, you need to upgrade the ones that didn't upgrade, the ones that were being built. Great, new research. Let's now go for the regional capital. Yeah, let's do that. And edicts, let's go for the research grant. Um, There's contact protocols. Actually... Uh, first contact discovery. You know what? Let's do that. And the peace festivals. Share the burdens. We don't have any. Um, 
Yeah, we don't have any slaves yet. Fortify the border. Upgrade speed. We won't do that yet, um, but that will definitely be useful. Okay, you've been upgraded. So, I think this has been a good start to our... Uh, the um, Confederacy of Earth playthrough. Um, we are going to continue. So as I said, just a reminder, um, definitely go on to the Discord if you haven't already. Uh, join us. We have a lot of fun there chatting about a wide range of things, um, but specific, usually focused on Star Trek, on Star Trek New Horizons, and on similar types of gaming as well. So if you want to join the over 150 people that are already there, please definitely do. Also, I hope you really enjoyed this episode. If so, please remember to give it a like and also subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you next time for another episode of Jamie Plays. Bye for now.